No, she went dead on us before we got it. We got a bearing, but no fix. Of course, she should belong to S-59, about 300 miles away. Mm, she is a strange, isn't she? <coughs> Engine trouble, I expect. Right bang in the middle, too. What a place to get it for devils. The point is, just after we got her distress message, we got a line on this little fellow. We can only assume that he was the cause of the trouble. Anyway, it's the only clue we have as to a position. What a clue. In other words, from a practical point of view, we've no idea where she is. She may be anywhere inside this rather doubtful circle. Well, if you like to put it that way. In any case, we've detached two units from support group A. Go and hunt the U-boat. And if our assumptions are correct, they do stay. Have you all got your rations fired there, man? Yes, yes sir. Uh, Put that down a while, Jock. My hand of that damn coal, I can't fumble this pen. Now, I'll give you an issue of prunes presently, and don't forget to keep the stones in your mouth. My experience, it helps you to keep away the thirst. I just suddenly remembered something, Captain. I was having, after the old ship got hit, I was having a route round the pantry and found a few little items that may come in very, very handy. There were two bottles of beer. Very good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is. Very good indeed. There are two tins of sardines. Oh, that's if you don't like the beer, you can get the oil on them. How's the patient doing for it there, Chippy? Oh, he's not feeling too bad, sir, now. Oh, good. Make him as comfortable as you can. What happened to the other lads, by the way? You tell them all about it, Bob. You was there. Oh, well, I was standing midships talking to the cook when she got the hammer. Well, I run forward to get me pipe. And uh, that watch, you know, the missus bought me, I was telling you about... Uh, 
with the old man's insurance money, because I knew darn well if I didn't take that watch home, she'd say, well, he sold it for beer. So, anyhow, I got up, and by the time I got up the boat, half of them was in the boat, and the other half in the ladder. And up popped Jerry. I don't know what the hell was that. I damn soon found out they opened up on him. The fellows was dropping off the ladder into the water. Seen the fellows in the boat falling down. And just then she took a heave. And I must have caught my foot in something and I went down with her. I was going down and down and down. I could feel pressure on me here, in me ear. I thought to myself, this is it. And I think the boilers must have went. And I shot up to the top and I had my eyes open and I was looking up and could see the sky getting brighter and brighter, you know, the top of the water. And I come up to the top, and by God, I thought it was an early plane. It really near come right out of the water. And I looked around me. All that was left was a few spots of oil. Not a damn soul anywhere. My God, I'd like to get hold of a couple of them chaps. I'd like to get all that dirty skunk with that machine gun. I'd fix him. Damn right I would. Now, men, the position is this. Things are not too good. They could be a darn sight worse. No SOS was sent out because the wireless had just blown to blazes. From my last position, we're just about halfway across, which is roughly a thousand miles from the nearest land. Just old Jerry to work it out to make it nice and easy for you, Asen. But that's only the gloomy side of the picture, then. Don't forget this. We're not far off the convoy routes, and young Sparks there has a wireless set which will send an SOS for about 200 miles. Is that right, Duncan? Aye, that's right, sir. It's a fine reset. Better be, it was either this or my jacket. What have you decided to do, sir? Make for Ireland. Prevailing winds and part of the Gulf Stream should be in our favour. Blimey, lads, it's fight for Ireland, eh? You think our journey is really necessary, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Salvation is free, it's free. I'm glad that Step the mast, lads. Let's make a start. Salvation is free for you and for me. I'm glad that salvation is free. 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 I'm away at the conference. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Yeah. How's she swimming? Well, she's still down by the head, two feet. Great pity, you know. Oh, well, we can't help it. No delight ashore. No. Any cables to go? Letters? No, they've all gone. Want anything? No, thank you. Very well. Well, that's the last of the cargo, Chief. Good. Little Griff is down there. He's like an old broody hen with that gun of his. Yeah, he's an old stickler too, Chief. Didn't like his breech block, so he's only back to the depot for a new one. Said he only got one gun, he's going to make damn sure it works. Let's hope he doesn't have to use the damn thing. Hi, Sparks. Where the hell are you? You get the acid for your batteries? Yes, coming aboard in about half an hour, Chief. Remember my tobacco? Yes, cost you half a buck. Good, I'll send you the first drink once you get home. Well, same old racket. Any idea when we sail, Chief? Morning, probably. The old men's at the conference now. If you have small engine room defects, don't 
try and carry the burden all to herself, signal and tell me. And I will see if it is possible to reduce the speed of the convoy so that you can effect the necessary repairs without having to drop astern and become a straggler. Well, that's all I've got to say, gentlemen. I'm very proud to be your Commodore, and I hope that we shall have a fine and successful trip. <coughs> Are there any questions on that, gentlemen? Yes, sir. I'm not very happy about this reduction of speed. My ship's already trimmed by the head, and I'm liable to be very slow and sluggish on the helm and under six knots. And with the deck keg I'm carrying, if there's a strong quarter of the wind, I shall have a devilish job to keep station. Well, Captain, I can assure you that we shall not go slow speed for one minute longer than is necessary. But if you find yourself yawing about, signal and tell me, and then I'll let you know what to do. Well, now, gentlemen, the senior officer of the escort will say a few words to you. <clears throat> Good afternoon, gentlemen. This is how you can help your escort. Don't straggle or romp ahead, because I cannot afford to detach an escort for a few ships and thus weaken the protection for the whole convoy. I would like to support what your Commodore said about smoke. Smoke has been known to give away the position of the convoy for 30 or 40 miles, and do make a special effort to keep a clear funnel in the evening, because that is the time the U-boats may be closing in to uh, get our course for the night, and we should be trying to put them down, and our whole work may be ruined by one careless stoker. If you spot a U-boat, give him all you've got. Your splashes and your traces at night will act as a good pointer, and you never know, you might hit it. <laughs> Finally, if a serious attack develops, do not let us forget this. U-boat commanders don't sail in to attack with a happy heart. For them, it is a moment of extreme tension. And if at the critical moment we can take every offensive action, we shall weaken their resolution, and they will share off and not press home their attack. Well, gentlemen, your escort will be doing their utmost to give you a safe and timely arrival, but we need your assistance. Are there any questions? <coughs> if there are no further questions, my executive officer will tell you a little about the air support you'll get from our Army Air Force. Well, gentlemen, from this side, You'll have Hudson spotting U-boats for you for the first 600 miles. From 6 to 800, you'll have liberators and flying fortresses. Now, it'd be well for you to study the silhouette of the flying fortress and the fox wolf. Because if you're unlucky enough and meet a fox wolf, it's well to know the difference. <laughs> Down all right? Yes. Cabin of my own farm and comfortable here, sir. Living like a prince, in fact. Good. Have a cup of tea while you're here, sir. Yes, thank you. I'll well. just rinse out the old coat. It's all right. I'll have you there. Sure? It's all right, then. That's fine. How many practice rounds have Ten, we Ten, sir. Good. We'll use half of those tomorrow morning. We're having practice shoot. Good. How long do you reckon this trip going to take, sir? She should be home in about 16 days, I think. 16 days, sir? Let's run it a bit close. How's that? It's my wedding anniversary in about 18 days' time, and I've been trying for the last 20 years to get home and celebrate it, and I've never succeeded yet, and it don't look as if I shall this time. Well, I'll see if I can speed the convoy up a bit for you. Good, sir. I wish you would. Save me a lot of trouble if you did. 
lightly, so lightly, so lightly, ha 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 ha, so lightly, so lightly, so lightly, ha 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 ha, so lightly, so lightly, so lightly, ha 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 ha, so lightly, so lightly, so lightly, ha ha how do you feel now, boys? A bit better? Eh? Hell of a life, isn't it, eh? Oh, Won't be long now. <laughs> Only one more clean shirt. No, oh, well, I'm that other one in a Persian... in a Persian uh, beer garden. <laughs> How the hell does that go again? Oh, uh... Yeah, baby, Solomon, come, Lilo, come, Come, Lilo, come, you. Yeah, baby, Solomon. Come, Lilo, come. I couldn't have done much better myself, but wake up. What the hell's the matter? Oh, she just had your dinner, didn't you? Didn't you enjoy your, your biscuit and your... What the hell they call Malted them? milk. Malted milks? Yeah. I don't know. You look like an accident looking for somewhere to happen. <laughs> <laughs> now, something Liverpool. Oh, a German clockmaker to England once came. Benjamin Snooks was that clockmaker's name. He searched every street and he searched every lane. And he rang on his old bell and the old clock's to bed. With my two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom tay. Two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom tay. Two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom tay. Two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom tay. With his two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom tay. Two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom tay. Two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom tay. Two lover tom, two lover tom, two lover tom. Damn it! I can't get it. What have you got? Dash, 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 e, dash. It's no use asking me, I haven't got that sort of a brain. Read out again. Taylor's fish and beheaded angler make a good catch. Tell you what we want. Spot a Bob Hope. Fix this thing yesterday. I'll see if there's anything doing. Hello, you blokes. Hello. You got any weather report through today? Not yet. Of course, that's it, eh? Music while you stir. Hello, codfish. William 305. Sounds interesting. Will you test my reception? Q-R-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. Are you getting this all right? Over. William 305, this is Codfish. Receiving you loud and clear. How am I? Over. Hello, Codfish. William 305 answering. You're a trifle woolly this morning. Over. Woolly, yes, but I wouldn't be without it. How am I now? Uh, Hello, Codfish. William 305 answering. We're receiving you better now. How's it all going? Sure glad it's you and not me down there. No stomach for your kind of life. Over. Oh, uh, we're going fine. Only just started. Carry out patrol XZ at AF miles, please. Over to you. Okay, fella. Anything you say. Good hunting. Good luck. Listening out. Now, let me see. We had a fresh breeze last night. We haven't got so much wind this morning. We'll give it two and a half. Two and a half will make it 60 from our last position yesterday. Well, that puts her here now. Well, I suppose they're still using this bloody ocean. This will make a very good story for your paper, Mr. Russell. You're telling me. <laughs> I hope I get it uh, printed in time, though. You know, this is quite a change for me. I haven't done any sailing for years. Well, it looks like you're going to have plenty of time to make up for it now. Well, that's a lot for today. I hope somebody hears us this time. How about an encore, Sparks? You never know who's listening. Go on, Jock. Number one, please, Nob. Well, I'll be running for a couple of minutes. We'll have to go easy in the battery as you can. It didn't last forever. Oh, I don't know, Sparks. Have another shot. I'd just do the trick. Oh, all right, sir. You're not doing so badly, lads. Done 60 miles the last 24 hours. That's right, by the time we get home, beer will be half a dollar a blooming pint.
Hello, Beltran. Beltran. Are you all right? You're struggling rather badly. Try and do better. And get up into station. Three cables are stand with that chap ahead of you. Nothing much happening. Poor old thing. I suppose she's doing her best. It's a bit beyond her. Try some French, sir. French? Have a heart number one, you might hear me. Well, why not, sir? It might encourage them a bit. Well, try being one, send him to stop a straggler. <coughs> hello, hello, Bell Fonds. Bell Fonds. Uh, see we play uh, Tenley Boat Position Bia. Uh, beaucoup bien, mon ami. Vous uh, êtes uh, tombé à Daria. Avancez à trois cables de votre. Oh, what's the French for next to the head? Uh, have a quick of fresh and better, sir. Of course, yeah. Uh, Avancez à trois cables de votre poisson bateau. Hi, bien. I believe that's done it. Not a bad effort. I can't roll in the pole, sir. On the contrary, on the contrary. Christmas, look at that. I warned them particularly about that at the conference. Uh, Bill France. Belle France. Uh, Defense de Fumé, s'il vous plaît. Defense de Fumé. That's 18 days to go. It's the bird 18. Yes. That'll be tight on the rations, Chief. Stuart? Yes, sir. One dipper a day. No. Very good, sir. It's just about a gargle for each of us, lads. I have an idea of prohibition set in. All right, Bosun, I'll take a spell now. OK, sir. I'll have three times on the saloon deck. <laughs> Constitutional, eh? My God, they're a good crowd, Captain. You'd think they were out on a pleasure cruise or something, wouldn't you? Yes, but what'll we be like after another 18 days of this? That's the point. Mm. Do you know the Irish coast, Chief? No, but I'm looking forward to it very much. That's where the danger lies when we sight land. Come around, just fine. Very treacherous coast, you know, right around there. It rocks all along. It's bound to be a bit of a sea running at this time of the year, too. We don't just strike a sheltered cove or something like that. It'll be just too bad for us. And that's that. Well, what is it that makes you all go back to sea? What's your reason, Fred? I don't know, really. Maybe it's because you always want something you haven't got. You see, it's like this with me. When I'm at home, I miss the sea. When I'm at sea, I miss the missus. In fact, between you and I, I don't know which I miss most. Now, when I do come home from a trip, me and my old Dutch hit it off a treat. But she just can't see me about the house too long. And that goes for me, in a way. Mind you, she's all right. But we just seem to get on better apart, if you see what I mean. I wonder what the old girl's doing now. Probably standing in a queue for something. I wouldn't be a woman on this wall for anything. Well, you may have lost your hat, Tom, but believe me, I've almost lost the use of my legs. If I had a shock of her like he has, I wouldn't worry at all. <laughs> well, noon, eh? Well, I know what I'd be doing if I was at home now. In fact, I know what we'd all be doing. Tell me, Tosti, what the devil would you be doing? 1.40 now. Going down to Fleet Street, walk into a local and get a tomato juice. A what? Fleet tomato juice? <laughs> <laughs> you hear somebody talking about boozers? Aye, the conversation is slowly returning to normal, Doc. <laughs> Still talking about boozers. People here know the lifeboat down at Poplar. But wouldn't I give me our apron a nice pint there? Ah, you can't beat old owner, mate. Best place in the world. Nah, give me New York any time. Guns, I'll be daft. Be your eyes, son. Comparing New York with London. Chalk up another day on the calendar. Have the idea, Bob. Which will wait the time for us? It's a plane! Get out those flares, somebody. Quick, you, Chief. Something must be above the clouds. Can't spot us. There it is. Quick, hurry up with the flares. Hey! 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 Oh, poor 
van a todo. Ay, yo se te quería besar igual. No. What can I get a better look at up there, eh? Well, never mind, lads. That's a bit of a blow. Don't get too downhearted about it. We may have more disappointments than that before we're finally picked up. We may as well settle down to that right now. should keep your hair tidy. Every hair in place, always well groomed. Well, Sanita Hair Lacquer is a must for controlling unruly hair, especially the ends around the neck. Hence, it keeps your coiffure always expertly groomed. This is the Forces program. Now, here's a short recital of gramophone records. On the home stretch now, Bill, you can always tell when you hear the old BBC. Won't be long now. Oh dear, I ain't getting yours out this time of night. Where do you think we are? In the lake or something? Why the hell don't you dry up? If you wasn't pulling, you'd be bloody well freezing. Oh, uh, pipe down, you know. What's the matter? Can't you be spoken to now? Hey, can't a man get a little sleep on this damn boat? You, you ought to be asleep mouth. in the deep. You ain't any ballast, mate. You 1942 sailors, you ought to be an ice cream merchant. Ah, you always moaning. Can't be spoken to. Oh, you bad tempered old uncle blubber. Shut up, you, um, or I'll go you. Stop, Roy. Did you hear that, Chief? Yes. Those are diesels, all right. There's only one thing that can be. A U-boat charging its batteries. Just that light forage, you damn fools. Get rid of your cap, Chief. We don't want them to find any officers here. Can't say I fancy the idea of a trip in a U-boat. Don't you flatter yourself. If they sight us, they'll scupper the lot of us. Why, if we're picked up tomorrow, we could give their position away. They're not going to risk that.
Johnny, Johnny, take the... Uh, hmm? uh, What's the matter for it, though? It's Al Frost, sir. He's not too good. He's a bit delirious. Well, suck him. Knock him out, sir. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh. Bless my soul, what a beautiful day. Awful. What have we done to now, Mr. Rogers? Four knots, sir. But for God's sake, why? What's on now? One of them having a spot of engine trouble. It's the old Belle France, the whole convoy these up, sir, that you can get fixed up. That's what I've been all the time. This damn slowing down. Damn and blast the Belle France. She'll have us in the starboard column in a minute. And we're yelling about all over the place. Check your helm, will you? Aye, aye, sir. 263, Sigmund. Uh, Leander, sir. All over the place. Captain, sir. No. Never get, huh? Leander, number 63, is all over the place, sir. Looks as though she's almost out of control, sir. Come, come. Aye, aye, sir. Watch it now, watch it, sir. You're off it. I know, sir. Well, sir, she's got two and a half turns of port and she won't answer. Well, give her more hell. Well, I give her some more, but if I give her too much, she won't be able to catch her. Come, come, Mr. Rogers. Bring the ship back in a course, please. She's not answering her helm. They've got a snowball chance in hell of keeping station with these revs. We'll have to give them more. All right, bring it up one night. Aye, aye. Up, Jen. And you. Right down for the Commodore. Uh, number 63, Leander, uh, is in difficulties and appears unmanageable at this speed. Uh, suggests she hauls ahead of the convoy tonight and rejoins again daylight tomorrow. Got that? Yes, sir. Right, Craig, out quick. We leave the convoy tonight until we have a collision, I'm afraid. How's you now, Quartermaster? You just begin to feel it now, sir. I think I can handle her at this. No, I'm afraid it's no use, Mr. Rogers, that this people will be running down the next ahead in a minute. She's as touchy to handle as an angry woman. At four knots, we're helpless, and at five knots, we're a blasted menace. We'll have to bring her down again. Down ten. There's only one thing for it, and that's to get the hell out of it. Send the signal to the Commodore and tell him I can't steer at this speed. And if I stay in the convoy overnight, I shall be a danger to all other ships. I want permission to go ahead and rejoin in the morning, or I won't answer for the consequences. The Commodore welcomes your suggestion. The rendezvous tomorrow is unchanged. Oh, suits me. Full speed ahead, sir. Full ahead, sir. Hello, chaps. How are you getting on? Hello there, Griffey. Old cop. Come in, sit down. Have a cup of tea. Not a bad idea, that. There she is, on the go at last, eh? And about time, too. She's rolling around something awful. Red chips. Red chips. Uh, steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Now, up between the line of ships, she's all yours now. Aye, aye, sir. Ah, this is more like it, sir. Well, what does it look like? Nice little bunch of trouble, huh? Yes, quite a little cluster. H4 will be getting into trouble soon, too. 
Yeah, they'd have to divert them. I think if we bring her down somewhere like here, that seems to be all clear. Hmm. About one four oh? Should do. And then straight up for position Y. Uh -huh. uh, Thompson, make a signal to Commodore and Senior Officer Escort 84. I repeat it to Admiralty and um, Group F. Alter course forthwith to 140 degrees for 15 hours, then start direct for position Y. This diversion means trouble ahead up, Fred. Looks like it, sir. We would get diverted just after sending Leander ahead. She must be 10 miles off by now. Can't send a signal. Certainly can't afford an escort. Hope she'll be all right, sir. Well, she's got a good turn of speed. Signalman, make a reply to Commodore. Fully appreciate um, the end of position, but uh, I can't afford to send an escort with the convoy threatened. We'll have to gather up in the morning. Sehen Sie dies, Herr Kapitän? Das hat doch nicht ein Kumpel, oder? Nein, nicht so ganz. <lacht> ein Einzelfräse genügt mir. Dieses lohnt doch nicht. <lacht> Sending. Sparks! 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 Aye, sir. You all right, lad? Aye, sir, I'm all right. We'll start sending. What about the battery, sir? They're not so good. Neither is Ross. Start sending. Position. 55 Nord. 17 West. 17 West. Das ist der Rätselhaf. Die ist in unsere Position gesandt worden. Wirklich? Aber natürlich, das ist von unserem Freund da oben. Ach, ich verstehe. Damit ist unser ganzes Problem gelöst. Auf, Perisco! Auf, Perisco! Wie meinen Sie, Herr Kapitän? Alles, was wir zu tun haben, wir fressen auf das Rettungsschiff. Dann haben wir ein sitzendes Ziel für unser letzte zwei Torpedos. Aha. Ein perfektes Köder.
The battery is nearly dead, sir. Look at the indicator. So keep on sending or keep a bit in reserve? Keep on sending. It's now or never for us, and I'm afraid. Aye, aye, sir. It's no sign of it, sir. Well, I've checked that position three times. I'm not checking it again. We were on that convoy round with this morning at one bell. We should have seen that convoy at least two hours ago. Not a sign of the convoy, sir. All right, young man, keep your eyes skinned out there. Hey, come coming up on the fourth quarter, sir. Action stations! Where's my tin bonnet? Here it is, the way you left it. Oh. Where away? Red one five oh, sir. There it is, I've got it. Make anything of it at all? I don't know, sir. Might be Catalina or even the Dawn here. God, it's not the Don here. Stop loading! That's no good, it's a lead gang. So I lay better luck than you are. Turn him in here. He's calling it up now. All right, take the lamp up the monkey island and see what he's doing. Aye, aye, sir. I'll get your signal card, eh? Aye. Right. What is this ending? He wants to know if we're Leander, sir. Tell him yes. Aye, aye. Let's know what he's ending. I'll read the West Down for you. We join. Rejoin. Convoy. Convoy. Position. Position. Sam, is this the 14th day? Oh, I suppose it is. I don't know. What the hell's the difference whether it's the 14th or the 28th? Oh, I must keep the old diary up to date, you know. Lifetime habit with me this time. Blow me, lads, it's my birthday. And Van Gallery in Scotland. Aye. Many happy returns of the day. Thanks very much, Bob. Yes, and I'll tell you something. It's always been lucky for me. Met my wife on my birthday. Yes, that was lucky. I'm on my birthday a few years ago, back to lovely Dublin, Kempton. And two years ago, my mother-in-law was evacuated. God, what a present. And I think my luck will hold. You should see, we'll be picked up today. You wait. Now there's something to go on, eh? Let's go and check this coast. Put your helm out of starboard, quarter Look, out of starboard, though. Well, 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 we'll be home in a couple of days, Roger, isn't it? 54, 17. Shut up. It's distress. It's so faint, I can hardly hear it. Take that to the old man. The convoy should be there at four o'clock. If we steer 120 at 12 knots, we ought to get up to them there about five o'clock. Mr. Rogers? Yes. What is it? Distress message, sir. Very, very faint. Could hardly hear it. Sounds like those batteries are almost flat. Thanks, that'll do it. Cheers, yeah. man. Oh, it's old Thomason's ship. He and I were shipped this many years ago. He's a grand old man, is Thomason. What's his position? 55 north. 55? Yes. Longitude? 17 west. Good gosh. Thirty miles away. Mm. Nearly on top of them. A good man to go from. Well, it's a big alteration, sir. We shall never join the convoy before they alter course for the night, and God knows where they'll be in the morning. Convoy. Bring her on to Norris. Aye, aye. Captain. Thief for Periscope. Thief for Periscope. Thank you, sir. Drop of the real stuff, that. How are we doing now? Oh, well, we're doing all right. 
How are you feeling? Not too bad now. I must have dropped off. Farmerdale, give a sharp lookout. We're looking for a lifeboat. Immer noch nichts zu sehen, Herr Kapitän. Das kann eine Frage von Tagen sein. Nur Geduld. Ich schaffe nicht. Runde das Pesco. Runde das Pesco. 30 Meter. 30 Meter. Just half a dipper a day from now on to everybody, Stuart. There you are, Bob. There you are, son. Have a drink of pop. Now take it easy now, you know. Good and good saddle. Have a little drop in your mouth for lunch, right? That's a stump. They must be somewhere around here, surely. That all depends how accurate this position is. Tantalizing, isn't it, John? Tantalizing's right. If only we knew there was nothing on the other side of the horizon, things wouldn't be so bad. It's the idea that there may be something to get you down. God, what a wilderness. Right over the spot now, and if I know old Pop Thomas, and they won't be prepared out on his dead reckoning, he must be around here somewhere. Let's go and have another look. Right. So sailor's got nine lines. Well, you looking for you've got about eight and three quarters left, Jake. Good to be, sir. You got your course? No, we'll keep it going a little longer. We may have drifted to the northern. Where the devil are they? Five minutes time or all the southern, we might find them there. There is a ship. Where? Over there on the starboard quarter. They are, Tommy, old friend. What did I tell you? Don't be too sure. It might be a German raider. Don't be so pessimistic. It's one of ours. Get those flares out for it. Slack away, your jib sheep. We're going about. Oh, ship. Oh, Frankie boy, that's the end of all our troubles. You boat on the starboard bow, sir. What's that? That's all right, Al. You'll be all right when we get you aboard that ship over up. Get you in your bunk a nice hot tot of rum. Well, it was there. I saw it. Well, it's never there now, old boy. 
You take it easy, mate. You stop worrying about U boats. I tell you, I saw it as plain as a pack star. You've probably been dreaming or something. You'll be all right. We'll have you fixed up in no time. Now, for the last time, everybody, I tell you, I saw that U boat. Now, you can do what you like about it. All right, Rawson. Don't worry any more about it. Steady on with that light, Murdoch. Douse it. Douse it, sir? We mightn't have been spotted. Doesn't matter whether they've spotted us, it's whether they've been spotted. Douse it. Damn silly idea to me. What the hell are you playing at, Captain? You gonna stop here the rest of your days? Hold on, your jib sheet. Man, aren't you coming about? No, I'm not. Why the hell not? Because I say so. Well, if you won't come about and go after that ship there, we'll bloody soon put somebody up there and it will. What do you say, lads? What are you going to do about it, Captain? Now, listen, everybody. Do you realize what it means if Rawson did see a U-boat? He's seen no bloody U-boat. He's been raving for two days. A whole ruddy lot of us would be raving if we carry on like that. That's the way to talk, Pat. Shut up, the whole damn lot of you. Listen to me. What you don't realize is if Rawson saw that U-boat, and there's plenty of them around here, that ship's as good as sunk. Now, are you prepared to see that happen? You, O'Malley? Are you, Evans? Are you too, Banner? How would we feel if we let that ship come up and be sunk in front of us without us doing anything to prevent it? Speaking for myself, I don't want to have it on my mind for the rest of my days. But surely, it's a chance in a million of you about being out here. Why, a U-boat can be anywhere these days. You could have picked up our SOS the same as any other ship. Isn't that right, Sparks? Aye, sir. I'm afraid it is. Do you remember that U-boat we heard the other night? You may have been shadowing us for days. Just using us as bait. This is the chance he's been waiting for. You still don't know whether Rawson saw a U-boat or not. Yes, it is possible he didn't. Yet personally, I think he did. Anyhow, we'll take no chances. Chances, eh? It's our lives you're taking chances with. And we're not going to stand for it, you hear? There you are, risking all our blooming lives. Just because a man off his head thought he saw a U-boat. Twenty-four men in here, mister. You speak for yourself. Now look here, Banner. Are you ready to take chances with the lives in that ship? You know what happened to your own shipmates in the Jason? You want that to happen again? It may do, you know, if we don't do something to stop it. Well, are you with me? Well, you've brought us this far, Captain. I think we'll stick to the end. Very well, then. There's only one thing we can do, and that is carry on the way we're going. If that U-boat spots us making for that ship, she's as good as gone. Well, keep a sharp lookout all around for a periscope. If any of you see one, for God's sake, don't point. Just shout periscope. Then's our chance to fool them. Stand up for it and act as if you see a ship coming from over there. That may just mislead them long enough to let us get a signal through. Now, is that clear to everybody? All right, sir. Trust those sausage-eating skunks to think of something dirty and rotten like that. Eight ten. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve point eight. Periscope, Tiefe. Oh, periscope. Auf periscope. Zwei vorüber. My God, Alf was right. Periscope. Now's our chance to put him off the trail. Plenty of waving of the hands and pointing right ahead. Hello, here's something. We'll have two points off the bow. Yes, the red sail. Give me that telescope, please. Yeah, that's them all right, thank God. Not far off the position either. The fine bit of navigation there. Good old Tommy. That means it's in that bottle, right? It's one of the finest navigators I know. Stop it a little, quartermaster. Also, you have not was gesichtet. Really? Farbohaft. It's not too so long. Gedauert. Ach, nee. That is fine. Aber die oben haben eine weitere Sicht. Na, jedenfalls nach kurzer Zeit müssen wir es sehen. 
Und dann unser letzter zwei Torpedo gut gezielt. Und dann nach Haus, was? Mhm. Ja. Runter Periscope. Runter Periscope. Hello, there's something wrong here. They're sailing in the wrong direction. They can't have spotted us. Shall I give them two or three blasts? By all means, Mr. Rogers. Give them three cheers on the whistle. Hello. Put the joy of life into them. All right, all right, we can hear you. Making more noise than a dog full of tucks. Look really funny, ain't it, eh? We've been in this boat 14 days waiting to be rescued, and until the old boat comes along, we don't want it. I don't know, funny how it goes, isn't it? She's coming up on us all the time. Why don't you use the flares again, Captain? Don't risk it, Chief. They take it for the order distress signal. No, the only thing to do is to try and flash a signal through. You have a chance in a million of getting a signal through that way, Captain. Even that's worth taking. There's nothing else we can do. Hurry up with that canister, Tom. Aye, aye, sure. Get up, Tom, and you, Curtis, shield me on this side. Damn that sun. That sun's gone for half an hour or more now. Verloofd, het moest toch zo'n daar zijn. Dat! Dat valt de duwst toen, narren. Die zijn neugierig. Dat is het! Van de Evenveld! Gaan ze maar her! Ik plan niet te voorgaan, de kapitein. Ik tuis je me gestalten van Revenfels. Het steunwoord, het steunwoord. Koers 3 en 5. Koers 3 en 5. Wordt op Eerskoop. Bakboord van elkaar. Wat de devil are they playing at? They're still heading in the wrong direction. Probably too exhausted to keep a good look out. Give them two more chutes in the bus. Aye, aye, sir. You, Bain, and you, Alexander, hack that boat hook in two. Tie those two blanket containers onto the halves. The U-boat commander would be a damn fool if he hasn't started to by now. The only thing we can do is to make colour and semaphore. Stand by, everybody. I'm going to go round. Aha, the sinners at last are coming about. About time, too. God, I'd like to see the faces of those chaps now. Well, we've got them directly. I'll fetch around on the port side and get them what lever is. Mr. Thompson, slip down below and see your ladder fixed on the port side with a heaving line. Tell the cook to heat up some broth and have those bunks all ready for those men. Aye, aye, sir. Start sending. You boat to starboard, keep clear. Hmm, they're waving, I think. God, they must be really poor devils. Because if they're trying to signal, Quartermaster, hand me that telescope, will you? Aye, aye, sir. Thank you. Funny, they stopped now. Make anything of it at all? No, they stopped before I got them into focus. But it's pretty obvious what they're trying to tell us. I think we can take it as red. Who'd you buy it for the kids? Yes. You want to put it away then, it'll be worn out by the time you get home. Barney, we want to break down gang here already, eh? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me, Bill, if the nipple never sees this. Poor devils, I know how they feel. Two days of it was enough for me. Oh well, we'll soon have the safety aboard now. Give a look at that here for a couple of minutes, will you? Sure. Shan't be long. Winter Periscope! Winter Periscope! I'm on the cage again. What do you want? A little bit of waste you don't want. Mine's all wet through. Well, I go down the lower feet, get it on the starboard side shelf there. Thank you very much. All right, though. Fire. 
Pedro Reclan. Run the periscope. Run the periscope. Right, it, Major. Well, it won't be long now. Port of Bind, Quartermaster. Check it up in the chat. Hello, they're standing again. A. What the? You. What the hell? Is the I've got it, you go. Well, I'll just stop it. Get it over. Come on. So. Fire. Get it over, for God's sake. Lay me. So, please, just stop it. Here comes another one. <laughs> Well, that's that. We've done our best anyhow. You all right, sir? I'm all right. Anybody out below? Hands all to hell. That's the least of our troubles. Rogers, do you think that second torpedo came from the same submarine or not? Looks like the same one to me, sir. Whether there's one or more, they'll probably hand us another one in a minute. Maybe you're right. How does stand by the bush to let go the lashings? Throw your slip down and see what the damage is. I'll get hold of the chief on the phone inside. Being compassionate. Hello, Captain speaking. Gun screw closed up and cleared away, sir. Is there any sign of it at all? I don't know what it is. Somewhere ahead. You stand by that gun and give him all you got and don't wait for the order to fire. Hello! Which is no more idea than we have, so keep a sharp look out, everybody. What is it? There's a hole here you can drive a blasted bus through. Sun one and two holes, sir. Aye, aye. Hello, Spark speaking. Gonna get the old panic rank back. Yes, sir. Take this down, Dick. Latitude 55, nothing three north. 17, nothing two west. Request assistance with tugs. Don't get my stuff, Dick. No, no. no. Verdammt, nur ein Torpedo hat gesessen. Sie ist vorhin getroffen. Aber ich kann lange Zeit sinken. Ich glaube, wir geben ihm den Rest mit einigen Granaten. Well, what do you think? Well, well everything depends on those quarter bill heads, sir. Big, I give the old ship a quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour? Ha, huh, quarter of a minute. The jelly shoots another one into us. There's no point in waiting for it. The best thing to do is get the men off the boats and stand off for further orders. I'd like you to stay here with me because I'm not going to abandon ship till I have to. There's no point in keeping these men on the ship till we find out what that new boat's going to do with us. Hello, Chief. How very shit, Captain? Pretty badly, Chief. How are your engines? Well, the engines make water for number one pump line, but I think we can hold it. How many men do you want down there? Oh, the second engineer and I can handle it, sir. Right. Then all others away in the boats. I'll get right away on the pumps. Good man. All right, let's get your boats away. I'll go follow them. Have a look at those boat heads again, sir. Any reply to our signal sparks? Yes, sir. A message just come through from Paul Patrick. Good, I'll do you. Now, both on the boots meantime, right away. Get that jacket on, young man. Yes, sir. That's the first time I've sent a message this far. You're a damn sight luckier than most of us. He's going to have a cold trip. Mr. Thompson, get your gun screw into the boats, pull away for a quarter of a mile, and stand by for further instructions. OK, Harry. Leave the guns at two for abandon ship station. Aye, aye, sir. Are you all here? No, the no, is missing, Chief. Anyone seen him? No, Chief, only just come up. Vinnie and I were up on the platform about a half an hour ago and he was there then. Anyone looked in his cabin? No, no Chief, he's going to have a look. No, don't mind. Mr. Thompson, take them all to the boat and pick up your life jackets on the way. Get all the warm things you can. Griffith!
I hope you think. Stand number two, will you? Ich hoffe, dass jetzt für ein Torpedo zahlen. You both circling. Come on, this way. Let's get along to that gun. Just a chance I've been wanting for years. Come on, what are we waiting for? This way. Is there any more mirror? Versuchen Sie von Ravenfeld. Keep down, Griff. I'll find out where she is. Look out, I don't see you, sir. Can I can't see you, Captain. But you see, it's hard to go to the overtime. We have a set-up to make. Where is she? Where is 
Come on, we can't be seen this way, Griff. He's right here to stir. Up here. Keep behind the tank, Griff. He's coming around on the fourth quarter. Watch out. Here she comes, sir. Here she comes. We crawl along the gun platform. We can't be seen then. You notice the tray was loaded, sir? Well, I hope that means a loaded gun. I wonder what they're going to do. The odds are she's going to surface, sir, or she'd let us have another fish long before now. Well, there's nothing we can do about it while that fish keeps showing. All we've got to do is wait. Well, I'm used to that, sir. This reminds me of old times. We had a couple of years in the queue boat from the last war. Sheepies, full send for Lawson. We have done now. Wacht een overbrekje. Wacht een overbrekje. Leren. Leren. Je schiet me zo toe in de straatstation. Je schiet me zo toe in de straatstation. Run the periscope. Who the periscope? Look, it's going down, sir. Going down. Right. It's gone. Now. Defense is this gun loaded. Yes, it's loaded, all right. We'll unload the train in case they jump out when we fire. What do you reckon the range is? About 400, Griff. I'll give a 600 deflection to right. That do? Well, hello. I'm clearly about 50 yards ahead of the last periscope side. That should about do it. God, what a stutter if she comes up. Should be, if we're any good. God, here she comes. Keep eight. Won't be long now. Won't be long. There's the first one out of the conning tower now, they look. Come on, Griff, let's bang away to now. No, it's no good, sir. You crash die before we get the range. We do. We've got to wait until that gun screw gets out. Here, eyes more up now. Looks like they're going to mount a machine gun there, sir. I think the time's come. I'll give it on. On, 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 on. Here we go. Down to one. We're over that time. Was was hier hier nun? Was ist da los mit euch? Bringt das Geschütz zum Zeuen. Das MG nimmt die Kanonie auf, Sturm. Schnell.
Good. Fine work, chaps. Extremely good shooting. Congratulations. Hello. Is Griff hurt? Dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Rogers. Cops is calling. I got a message for you. I want you to search for Ronpa, SS Leander, number 63. She'll be well out to the northeast. Glad to see you. Well, Tom, glad to meet you again. Well, Jack, you of all people, after all these years. I'm sorry you didn't get my signal. If we hadn't got it, we'd have a two defeaters instead of the one. The fort peak's blown out of an hour, still. Things should be much worse. If that bulkhead holds, we're all right. The fence from tugs, we may not need them. 